Today we are in the high desert of Arizona. We're gonna travel 70 miles on dirt up to Flagstaff and enjoy some cool temperatures. Just out the outside the confines of Camp Verde, Arizona. My paradise smelling coconut smelling hand sanitizer. opened up in my tail bag and now everything smells like coconuts and I have no hand sanitizer. Oh well. I'm not sure what we're in for. I just basically had a couple of roads that got me up in the area and then just took a line on Google Earth and followed some roads. So I'm not sure what we'll end up riding through. Most of this early part is uh, beautifully maintained primitive roads and uh, excellent mountain scenery. back there and the, the dude was getting nude. I suppose whatever your hobby is, as long as it makes you happy, right? Driving around in your truck in your birthday suit. Who am I to say that's weird? He's out in the creek, getting a little cool water dip. Gotta love this high chaparral. thousand feet. Well this canyon will take us up out of the high desert and into uh, Alpine forest up in the big ponderosas. It's one of the coolest things to me and what I let people know that haven't been here or plan on coming here is that today's round trip will be like 
400 miles, so 200 out, 200 back. In 200 miles, you can go through you can go through several different, uh, for lack of a better word, ecosystems. I started out today in uh, saguaro cactus and sage. Up through temperate desert and high desert, chaparral and later today I'll be in One of the largest stands of ponderosa pines. If not in the country, in the world, I guess. And I'll have traveled out of desert into alpine elevation. Well, today is proof. I don't normally talk too much about weather unless it's the heat or whatever, but. Up there, you see a bunch of clouds uh, getting together, fixing to do something, and uh, some big thunderheads. I checked the weather before my evening repose last night and there was zero chance of zero chance of rain. Sunny skies. Normal Arizona weather. And While I was sipping my coffee at 6 a.m., checking the weather apps, within three or four minutes they had all, all three apps that I check, started pushing rain very quickly into the forecast. 10%, 30%, 40%. So I took off anyway, figuring normal Arizona weather people can't figure anything out anyway. better off just to fling the whip window open and stick your head out to see what the weather's gonna be. But I digress. If we have rain, I may have to bail out because these clay forest roads are slick as snot. And even the four-wheeler guys don't like to uh, to ride on them when it's wet. This forest road is a pretty popular way in and out of the Coconino National Forest and this is about the time everybody's packed up camp and is headed back home and driving like maniacs. So this is going to be a little dusty, crappy section. And uh, we'll jump back when, uh, when we get on a trail.
the way up here, we traveled through two national forests, four or five counties, BLM land, all kinds of stuff. Shout out to Moto Giant. Um, he's been tracking some trains lately and uh, he'll get a kick out of this. We are actually running on old logging rail grade. This line used to go up to Flag and Mormon Lake. I believe it used to go down to Prescott. There's no real cool tunnels or anything because we're up on the plateau, but if I can remember, there's a couple of artifacts if the Forest Service hasn't uh, ripped them from the ground. park right here and to the naked eye to the normal person you'd be looking down this and thinking it's just a normal forest road but this is actually um, dug out for to keep the grade of the trains I'm gonna take a little jog back here and uh, show you something Well, these are two modern culverts. You can tell by the galvanized corrugated metal that's uh, riveted together and the band straps that are on there that hold the different sections together. Well, back in the day, 1800s, early 1900s, they made it out of heavy gauge metal and they hot riveted it all together. There used to be two or three there. And they must have uh, ripped those out. Let's wander over here and investigate this fixture. Now, I have always thought that this was a piece of culvert smashed up over here, and it is not. This was a water tank for the railroad system. So down here you got water, you pump it into this tank, you put it in, in the top of the steam engine. You can see the uh, flange up there. That thing is some thick, thick metal. Yep, probably stood somewhere over in here. A, a train would pull up and there'd be an arm that would stick out, go into the tank of the train, fill it up, pick up, and then the train would take off with more steam to go. Well, let's hop back on and enjoy some of this awesome rail grade that we're riding here.
really beautiful old growth ponderosas up here. burn area off to our left here. I believe that's part of the, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's part of the Rodeo Chetiskai fire happened out here about 12, 15 years ago. If that's the right one, it burned 600,000 acres. It's supposed to be larger larger area than uh, Los Angeles County in California. Uh, something like the size of New Jersey or Rhode Island or something like that, I forget. That is a 35 degree difference between here and where I live. That's why I rode up here. I do believe this is the last trail before Flagstaff. We'll jump on some pavement to get into town. But it's really weird, there is like beach sand. About a quarter mile back they were just crazy deep. Yeah, hopefully we get a little bit of rain. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We're kind of having fun watching the dust devils come down the road. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Lots of equestrian activity on this road. Nice place for it. But even this road has a real silty, dusty layer to the top of it. Now this is not too far from Kelly Canyon where they got a bunch of single track up there. And if it's dry like this, those trails are greasy for even the best of riders. People usually stay away from there when it's, whoa, dusty conditions like this. Well, if it's going to be like this for three miles, I'm just going to not bother you with the slowness and glowness and my complaining. So when we get close to the Flagstaff, I will 
pop you guys back on. Well, we are just about to hit pavement on the outskirts of Flagstaff. Mary Road. I will catch you guys in Flagstaff. Well, we've made it to downtown Flagstaff. Doesn't look too very busy. It does look a little rainy. I appreciate you watching. Please comment, subscribe, ding that bell so you get notifications when I put up new videos. Like and share. Adios.